What's going on everybody? Today I give you guys a tour of probably one of the coolest hockey offices you'll ever see in your life. As you guys know, I stream, I make content, and I'm a hockey creator. You guys know that I love the game, I live by the game, and everything I do is for this beautiful game. As you can see from this camera, we got the masks going over here. We got the Team Canada picture. We got three jerseys back here. We're missing a fourth one up there. We're missing my Team Canada jersey, but that is my junior hockey jersey. Galatia Francais Longue, I played there for three years. We won two championships with them. My Belgian jersey. Can't see it there. I didn't play too long because of COVID and got hurt, but still there. My college hockey jersey. We got Heffy at different stages. Adam Hockey. Um, Midge Triple A, Junior Championship. Sorry about the boxes. We got some gifts to unpack. Up here, we got my championship rings, championship watches. Player the MVP of Team Canada awards at the top. We got the gaming setup. As you can see, my monitor here, reading chat, reading script, whatever I got over here. We got the main gaming monitor where I play chat. I'll probably smoke you anytime you want. Up here, we got my loafing around doing whatever I want monitor. Emails, Twitch, usually it's Twitch, movies, whatever it is. We got the iPad setup for when I go live on TikTok. We got the webcam, which I'm talking to you guys right now. We have a picture that you see in the corner. A little bit. That is the picture from this season's coaching. We had an unbelievable season. Unbelievable team. Unbelievable goalies. I had a blast. They made me a beautiful gift. That's on my wall because I love what I do. This wall here that you don't see is my wife's achievements as a water polo player. Unbelievable athlete. So we put all of her achievements on the wall. Spice it up a little bit just for you guys. Okay, we're going to spice it up real quick. When we go live, we get the lights going. Boom. Just a little bit of RGB, not too much, just a little bit. Pass number one, we got Marty Brodner, who was my childhood idol. One of my favorite goalies of all time, probably my favorite goalie of all time. I loved watching him play. We got Bobby Lou. Bobby Lou was my second favorite. I worked with his goalie coach. His brother was my goalie coach for a while. We got my name in the front with the Canadian leaf. Got to represent Canada, right? In the back, we got the Italian boot because I'm an Italian nationality and it just looked good. And we got the last name. Super simple. The second custom Bucky. This one was my junior Bucky. My two, ye my three years at, ju at Junior Triple A and CF. I wore it for only one and a half of those years, but I was there for three years. We got Luigi on this side. And this is a wrap, by the way. Standing on there. We got Mario on this side shooting an ice ball. We got the logo in the front. And nothing on the back. So this was a wrap. Came out beautiful, first of all. Great detail on it. I love it. Now, the reason I went with Mario and Luigi was I played on Calais Francais. I was the, one of the only English kids on that team. So they used to, when we had my, fr my rookie year, when we had myself and another Italian, they called us the Mario Brothers. And it just stuck as a nickname. So I put on my mask. The Team Canada Bucky. Now, the reason I have this... This is an old model you used to be able to buy in stores, but this is the helmet they gave me when I played for Team Canada. I'll put a picture right here. This is the actual helmet. Not the exact one I wore because I had to give it back, so I ended up buying one that was identical so that I could put it on my wall. But this is the helmet I had when I got to play for Team Canada in 2016. My first college hockey mask. Not my best, but it was decent, all right? Decent paint or nothing crazy. We got the school crest, Mercyhurst University. On this side, we have the anchor because we were known as the Lakers. On this side, we got the M for Mercy here. Super simple. We got a little banner with my last name. Now, if you notice here, the crest here, it has little bars on the way down. Look at the side of the helmet. Look at the bottom of the helmet. Those little bars are there. Those little bars are there. So they match the crest. And this little skyline you see here is the Montreal skyline. I wanted something that represented Montreal on my helmet. With the white cage, I think it looks pretty good. I liked it better with the silver cage. I saw better. I don't know why I like the silver cage better. Now, I don't have my second college mask with me. It is still in my bag, and I haven't put it on this wall yet because I still use it. I don't have a, plate, a helmet to use in beer league besides that one. But we got my Belgian mask right here. 11 Chiefs logo right on the front. On one side, we got pictures of home rinks throughout my journey, starting with René Masson in Montreal, where I first learned how to skate and play hockey. Then we got Garon, which is my midget AAA home rink where I played there for two years. Unbelievable stepping stone in my journey. Never thought I'd make it there, but I did. Colise 
Jean Beliveau, where I played my three years of junior hockey, where we won two championships back to back. Third year, we lost in the finals. We got Mercier's Ice Center, where we played the college hockey. And then we got the Levin Chiefs Arena in Belgium. And we got a little plane flying through each of them, showing the journey I had as a hockey player. On this side, we got the Canadian Maple Leaf with people playing outside because that is where I fell in love with the game, at the outdoor rink. Spending as much time as possible outside playing, and I still do today. We got Deadpool, Deadpool, sorry, because he matches the team colors and because I'm a Marvel nerd and absolutely love Deadpool, one of my favorite superheroes. I don't care if you don't call him a hero. At the bottom, we got my name, of course, good, good little detail to the helmet. In the back, we got a picture of my lovely wife and my dog because when I was overseas, they were not with me and I had my family with me at all times with this and we got my last name. This, once again, is a wrap. Look how unbelievably beautiful this is as a wrap. This is not a paint job. This is a wrap. The guy did unreal work, and I'm so thankful for what he did for me.